Hey Declan, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good. So, do you want to go for a walk? Yeah, sure. Very nice. And I'm going to give you some questions. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Nice. So, first, where are you from? I'm from Sydney, Australia. Mm, very cool. And how old are you? I'm 25 years old. 25, nice. And have you ever lived overseas? Yeah, I live overseas right now. I live in Japan. Very good. What languages can you speak? <laughs> Uh, I can speak Japanese, English, and I'm learning Korean as well. Ooh, nice. Why did you decide to learn Japanese? Mm, I studied Japanese when I was in university. It was my major. Oh, it was your major. Mm -hmm. Very nice. When did you become so fluent? <laughs> uh, when did I become fluent? Maybe when I came to Japan to study abroad. Mm -hmm. And how long did it take for you to become bilingual? <laughs> uh, maybe... Three and a half years. Three and a half years. Mm. What changed for you once you learned Japanese? Uh, what changed for me? I became able to speak with Japanese people. And I could read Twitter in Japanese. Twitter? Mm. Cool. How did you study Japanese? Uh, how did I study Japanese? I read a lot of Twitter and I watched a lot of YouTube. Okay. In Japanese. You're heavy on Twitter, nice. <laughs> <laughs> what was the biggest difference maker? Studying every day was the biggest thing that helped me. A little bit every day is the most important. You work really hard, very nice. <laughs> what is something you were glad you didn't do? Glad I didn't do? Mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't waste time studying with a textbook. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Do you think watching Netflix is a good way to study English? Mm, yeah, definitely. I think it's good for your listening skills. Nice. And what was the hardest part about learning Japanese? The hardest part about learning Japanese was speaking, I think. That was speaking. the most difficult. Mm. Mm, why? Why? Because Japanese and English are like reversed. Mm -hmm. So it was hard to make my brain think in reverse mm. to speak in Japanese. Totally agree with you. Mm. Are vocabulary flashcards necessary? <laughs> uh, sometimes, maybe at the beginning, but once you get a little bit good, I don't think you need them anymore. Anyway. I agree with you. Mm. Why can't many Japanese people speak English? Because maybe because they focus too much on making mistakes and don't just try. Okay, maybe. I like that and I think it's true. <laughs> oh. How do you maintain your motivation? Oh, that's a good question. Mm. Uh, I like speaking to someone new every day, even if it's just the person working at 7 Eleven. I like that. Mm. What do you do when you lose your motivation? Well, what do I do when I lose motivation? Uh, when I lose motivation, I think it's the same thing. I like trying to speak to someone new. Usually it's the person at 7-Eleven or <laughs> some random person, but it's fun to speak to someone new. Okay, you really like 7-Eleven, I like that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna ask you some specific questions hmm. about learning Japanese back in the office. Okay. Alright, Declan. Are you ready for the rest of the questions? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Alright, so what kind of person should learn English? Mm. The kind of person that wants to go overseas maybe should learn English. Nice. What is the best way to improve your English speaking? Yeah, the best way is to just speak and speak and speak and speak. Nice. What is a Japanese word you learned recently? Japanese word that I learned recently? Uh, <laughs> Alright, mm. how do you learn the meaning of word that you don't know? Ah, uh, I look it up online, usually. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. And how do you memorize new words? Mm, use it on Twitter. Twitter. Mm. Write a tweet about it. Are dictionaries necessary? Are dictionaries necessary? Uh, if you're the kind of person that likes dictionaries, maybe. But I don't use dictionaries very often. Okay. Should I memorize vocabulary or learn grammar first? Mm. Do both at the same time, but mm. don't worry too much about okay. either. Mm -hmm. When's the best opportunity to learn new vocabulary? Yeah, the best opportunity when you're hanging out with your friends that speak English. Mm, mm. Very nice. Do you think grammar is important when speaking? Uh, no, not very much. Mm. Why do you think so? Uh, because I think even if you make a mistake with grammar, the other person will understand what you mean. Okay. Mm. Do you think the listener really cares about grammar? No, not at all. Oh, that's mm. good to know. How do you improve your pronunciation? Eh, yeah, good question. Maybe listen and repeat as many times as you can. Mm. But pronunciation isn't that important as well. Okay. Mm. If someone is not confident in their English pronunciation, mm. where should they start from? Eh, yeah, 
Repeat, 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 repeat. I like that.、Mm. Who are some Japanese celebrities with good English? Oh, Japanese celebrities with good English.、Uh, Degawa Tetsuro san. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. Next question.、Mm. Can you learn English by yourself in Japan without studying abroad? Yes, definitely. I think there are a lot of people that have learned English without studying abroad.、Mm, good to know. Should people learn English in language schools?、Uh, if they prefer speaking with other students, maybe. But、mm. if they want to learn by themselves, then there's no need to learn in a language school, I think. Interesting. Do you have any recommendations for English TV shows? English TV shows? My favorite English TV show is. Seinfeld. It's kind of old, but it's really funny.、Mm, okay. Are there any contents related to English that you're into right now? Any English contents? I really like listening to podcasts. And my favorite podcast at the moment is called The Podcast But Outside.、Mm. Listen to it if you're interested. Thank you. Do you have any favorite YouTube channels for Japanese learning? For Japanese learning? Yes. I watch a lot of Hajime Shacho. For listening practice. Nice. I should end Avantis as well.、Mm, okay. Can you learn English from songs? Yes, I think you can. How do you make English speaking French here in Japan? Oh, good question. Be brave and talk to strangers. <laughs> talk to strangers, very interesting.、Um, How does an introvert make、mm-hmm. English speaking friends? Oh. I think it's important to be brave as well. Say yes to everything. Say yes to everything. People might ask you to hang out or something, and you might be nervous, but just say yes. I like that very much. What is the secret to maintaining consistency in learning English? A little bit every day. A little bit every day.、Mm. I like that. All right. And lastly, do you have anything that you want to say to the people who are learning English?、Mm, yes. I think learning a second language is one of the most fun things you can do. So, Even if you feel like it's difficult, don't give up. Because、nice. once you get there, it's a lot of fun. All right, very empowering. Thank you very much.、You're、This、welcome. is it for today's video. Thank you very much, too. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.